So a little bit more about me since none of you asked. Uh, <laughs> I have recently purchased two books. One was called, or one is called, not was, it's still alive. One is called The Self-Care for Pisces, Astrological Sign. The other deals with spirit animals and uh, shamanism. I think, it, I think that's how you say it. So, over the past couple of years, I've been more and more intrigued with, I've always been like really intrigued with dreams and what they mean and what they meant. For the longest time, I've always felt that there's more to this world than just what we, than just our senses, what we can see, touch, smell, taste. Like there's, there's always something else out there. There's something else. Whether, you know, it's, you call it the spirit world, the metaphysical, the matrix, whatever you want to call it. I always feel like there's something else more out there. And the last couple years, I kind of got more in tune with it with the coach that I have. And she kind of brought me into it and all that stuff, gave me a reading. And I'm like, huh, oh, this is crazy. Like there's these other tools and tricks out there. And the more I learn about this stuff, the more I'm intrigued. Uh, and then getting this book, The Self-Care for Pisces, learning a little bit more about the ast astrological sign that I am, uh, the Piscean sign, uh, it kind of makes a little bit more sense on why I've always felt like there's more out there. So I'm doing these readings, right? I'm trying to read more and learn more. I think that's the biggest takeaway is there's always ways to learn. There's always more to learn. Whether it's in your job, your personal life, finances, or just as a hobby on something crazy like the spirit world or dreams, spirit animals like I'm learning about now. Just the the, the stars and the moon and, and all that rigmarole that people spend decades on, on researching. So I, last night, kind of where this is all going into, I was reading the Spirit Animal book and talking about how to figure out your spirit animal, your power animal, and how to call that into your dream. So I was talking about dreamscapes and how to have like a dream journey, a dream walk, whatever they want to call it, to, I guess, as like an introduction, like introducing you to an inner, having this, your, your power animal introduce themselves to you. Which is just fucking intriguing to me. Like seriously, I can go into my dream and have this connection with something else. Whether, whether it's real, whether it's fake, whether it's just a figment of my imagination. I, it still sounds awesome. Because it brings me into, like, the movies. And having a connection. You have all these fantasy movies having a connection with an animal. Whether it's the new ones of um, the Fantastic Beasts. Uh, the whole idea of... Now I'm spacing out movies and, and names like dragons and unicorns and all the fantastical stuff out there and having a connection with this stuff and having just this crazy connection. All right, I'll, I'll stick with that instead of trying to search for another word. Just very intriguing. So last night I tried to do a couple of these things to be able to meet my spirit animal and see what that is. Because between you and me, as much as I want to be this uber-masculine type of person and, oh, I want to be a lion or a bear or my power animal's a, a tiger or, or a dragon or some freaking creature that can dominate everything, you know, whatever. As cool as that may be in sound, the two animals that I've always liked and kind of gravitated towards were a lynx 
and an otter. Those like were my two, and otters really resonating in, in the most recent years. So I'm thinking that that's gonna be my power or spirit animal. So I wanna find that out. I, I wanna learn more about it. I wanna learn more about this stuff and, and see like maybe it's a mouse. Maybe it's a snake, which I don't like snakes. I'm, a, I'm afraid of snakes. But how, cr how crazy would that be? So just something I'm doing. I'm trying to learn more about life, um, the world, the universe, the the day-to-day -day happenings and, and behind-the-scene type of stuff. Just learning. Just learning about things because there's so much information out there. There's so much stuff out there that can better our lives, that can further our lives. Instead of just pigeonholing ourselves or pigeonholing myself into a set of ideals or beliefs, see what other people are thinking. There's a reason they're thinking this. You know, if you're uber religious, whether it's Catholic, Christian, Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Taoism, you know, whatever, whatever religion, uh, the religion of Chevy Chase, whatever. There's all these different religions out there. There's all these different ways of thinking. And if you want to believe that there is just one God, he created all this. He created everything. He created all these different thoughts and all these different people to have these different thoughts. Why is that? Why did he create all of this if just Christianity was the one way? Then he would just create the one way. So just learning. I want to learn more. A little bit about me. The more you know.